Here we go. We got baby Bash in the building. Hey. Okay, I gotta ask you, Bash. Tomorrow, Philadelphia Eagles, Kansas City Chiefs. Who you got and why? I am gonna go with. I think the Kansas City Chiefs are gonna win. Kansas City Chiefs. I think Patrick Mahomes is gonna pull one out of his hat. Or that, that, that high ankle sprain is pretty painful, but I just have a feeling that Andy Reid and Patrick Mahomes are gonna pull one out of the hat. Okay. Because, because the Eagles have a great line. The offensive line, defensive line, the Eagles are great. But I just think the magic of Patrick Mahomes is gonna, is gonna win something. Okay. Close game or blowout? Close game. Close game. Close okay. Game and, and Mahomes pulls it out. Okay. Like, that's something dramatic at the end. There you go, you guys. Baby Bash picks. Get your house on it. No, 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 I'm just kidding. Don't no, 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 no. And we out. Listen, I'm Chief because of Romeo. Shout out to Romeo, my co host. I don't know shit about the Super Bowl except about Rihanna. Well, listen, Chiefs all day. There it is. Karen. There it is there. We're right here with Frankie J. Frankie J. Tomorrow we got Philadelphia and Kansas City Chiefs. Who do you have? Man, they're both good teams. They're both very, very tough. Very, uh, you know, obviously very difficult to defeat. But I think the Eagles are going to take this one. The Eagles? I have a feeling that the Eagles are going to take this one. Okay. Why? Because they have a really, really good quarterback. They both, both teams have a really good quarterback. But this dude runs. This dude is, isn't afraid to get tackled. This guy makes wise decisions. And I think the Eagles, man. Right, there we I go. Eagles. Close game or blowout? Mm, I think it's going to be a close game. Okay, there you go. Frankie J. And please turn down that microphone, guys. Welcome, everyone, to Ghetto Sports, where you're going to get your uh, ghetto sports from an unprofessional perspective. And when I say unprofessional, we're not professionals, okay? So don't get mad at me if I tell you to root for Eagles or KC, or I want both of them to lose. So anyways, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into it with my co-host of Ghetto Sports, Beast Countless. Beast Countless in the building. How you doing today? I see you waving the... Is that the American flag? Oh, yes, it's it American is. American flag. America's team. You know what I'm saying? Yes. You know what I'm saying? It ain't fly. Eagles fly. But, you know, it is what it is. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. You know, um, today's the Super Bowl. We've been waiting for this. I'm a big-time sports fanatic. You're a big-time sports fanatic. I raised you right. Uh, um, so I love football, baseball, basketball, all the L.A. teams. Well, not really all the teams because we got Dallas. And uh, I like Notre Dame College football. So today we're just going to talk about pure uh, football. We're going to give our predictions at the end. We heard Baby Bash give a prediction. We heard Cece the Mamacita give a prediction. And we heard uh, uh, Frankie J give a prediction. Much love and respect to all those guys. We're going to actually be doing more of that soon. But we're not going to be using this platform for Ghetto Sports. We got a totally different other setup that we're going to have for you guys once we go live. And that's only going to be members only. Yep. So members only. So we're so going to subscribe. Go subscribe. Hit yeah, the little button. Have, we're going to have everybody subscribe to the, the members only. And we're just going to talk pure sports. When it comes time for a big fight, we're going to give our prediction in the big fight. When it comes time to a big soccer game, the World Series, whatever, we're going to give our predictions. Anyways, other than that, we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. I didn't expect Eagles and KC. I didn't predict that. You know, if you watch PTI, you watch uh, Tony Kornheiser, and you have uh, um, homeboy... Uh, Mike Wilbon. Yeah. And Tony Kornheiser said that at the very beginning of the season, he saw Eagles in the Super Bowl. I didn't see Eagles in the Super Bowl. I didn't see the Eagles in the Super Bowl. Honestly, I got to say, though, off top, everybody's, oh, NFC East, NFC East, you know, their division's weak. I got to say, we have probably one of the best divisions right now, only because we had three teams in the playoffs. I yeah. didn't see nobody else like that. So No, nobody else. And I didn't really see any powerhouse. A lot of people were saying that Eagles were a powerhouse. Uh, it's unfortunate, though. Uh, um, well, we'll get into our playoff game when we played the Eagles. But let's start with the NFC. Let's let's talk a little bit about, let's give the people what they're going to be looking forward to when they subscribe to the Members Only uh, Ghetto Sports. Let's talk a little bit about the wild card. Uh, let's start with the AFC. Uh, we're going to talk about how we got here to the Super Bowl, and then at the end we'll give our predictions. So, uh, And then we're going to give people an opportunity to call in and give their predictions or, or what the hell they're going to eat during the Super Bowl, what's their favorite meal, or if they're excited about Rihanna. <laughs> Anyways. Ella, Ella, eh, eh, <laughs> Yes. Eh. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and start at the AFC. Give, give us the, the first round. There were six teams that played 
and uh, and then I'll give the NFC wild card. Okay, so there was Buffalo and Dolphins. Buffalo, of course, took that one. There was uh, Cincinnati Bengals and the Ravens. Bang, uh, Bengals took that one. There was Jaguars and Chargers. Jaguars took that one. Okay, now out of those six, out of those three games, which one probably, if you can recall, impressed you the most? Honestly, Joe Burrow, the Bengals, because look at the Ravens. Everybody's. Um, I forgot his damn name. Lamar, Lamar, Lamar Jackson, yeah. the quarterback. Everybody, oh, he's going to be tough to figure out. He's tough. You know, you got to defend the run and the pass. Yeah, he, he, could, he could scramble. He can run. He could throw on the move, everything. That's good. But I like the way Joe Burrow's playing. He came out. He looks good. He ain't playing like like he's second year there. Yeah. So he's definitely playing like what's up. No. He's, he's definitely playing with that little oomph in him. You know what I mean? Definitely, definitely. Now, when you look at uh, – um. Uh, Jaguars and um, Chargers, the quarterback, Blondie, from the Jaguars. I'm trying to remember yeah, Sunshine, his name. Uh, Sunshine. We call yeah, him Sunshine yeah, yeah. from... Uh, Trevor, I think. Trevor something. I forgot. Yeah, what but what, what was that name? Uh, remember the Titans. Uh, remember the Titans, yeah. Yeah, if you guys remember remember the Titans, there was a... Uh, uh, actually, he was a little... Uh, he uh, was a little, yeah, yeah, He yeah. had a little fruit in his boot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah. this guy is playing great on the Jaguars. They actually advanced. Okay, so now on the wild card in the NFC, here we had uh, 49ers that play Seattle. That was a close game. A lot of people praised and believed the hype on, on uh, San Francisco. Okay, I'm going to tell you this. I'm not saying they're not a good team, but I do believe that they were overrated. Okay? Uh, oh, let me say, let, let me rephrase that. They were overhyped. Okay? Yeah, overhyped for sure. Because they, Be- they got stomped by the Eagles. Yes. Okay, but we're going to get to that. Seattle at halftime was beating 49ers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, a lot yeah, of people yeah. realize they know I'm a Raider hater, but I'm going to go ahead and give it to the Raiders. Raiders scored 30-something points on the 49ers. Okay, yeah. so but a lot of people forgot that and saw them as this well-oiled machine that's going to take it all the way, and they're not playing today. Okay, so <laughs> the next game, here we have Giants. They beat uh, um, the Vikings. The Vikings. Now, I'm going to tell you what pissed me off about this game, okay? Obviously, the Giants won. Yeah. But Minnesota lost three fucking times in the year to Giants. Oh, damn, I didn't remember that. I'm sorry, twice, twice. Okay. They played in the regular season, and then they played in the fucking playoffs. Yeah. You would have thought. You'd been prepared. You'd have been ready. Something. Something. Yeah. But no, it didn't happen. So, Giants won that game. I'm sorry, uh, Giants played Eagles three times. So, then we had the Cowboys. They beat Tom Brady. The last team to beat Tom Brady. Um, Cowboys beat uh, Tampa Bay. And then after that, Tom Brady said, sayonara. Okay, quick question. You think Tom Brady's going to come back one more time? You know what? His ass is unpredictable. Do not be surprised if he comes back and fucking plays for the Raiders. Okay? Well, they're saying Aaron Rodgers on the way. Yeah, they're saying Aaron Rodgers, but you know what? They don't even have an offensive line. I don't even think that quarterback's actually <sighs> even in... I mean, the, the coach is actually even any good for the Raiders. No, nah, no. Nah, they need a whole new coaching staff, new offensive coordinator, and a new head coach for sure. Yeah. Honestly. You know what? So it doesn't really even matter what quarterback goes over there because he's going to get fucking slaughtered. He's going to go to the Raiders and get a, a, a vacation with pay. Yeah, yeah, like Randy Moss. Like Randy Moss. <laughs> like Randy Moss. Okay. Uh, so, so I would say get Aaron Rodgers... But get a new coach, fix that offensive line, and let me tell you something. You guys, in my in my uh, opinion, instant playoff team. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so anyways, let's go to the, to the second round of the playoffs on the AFC. Okay. Click right there. Go back. Um, okay. Second round, we had a uh, KC and Jaguars. Of course, KC took it. Then we had Bengals and Buffalo, and. Okay. Okay. Now, now, now let me say this: uh, um, the quarterback. I'm trying to fucking remember his name. Um, homeboy that looks like Cujo, uh, the quarterback for the for uh, for the Buffalo. <laughs> um, shit. <laughs> if you guys like don't put, put his name, I, I'm trying to remember his name. Uh, but yeah, the, trying, but he's a great quarterback. Yeah, don't yeah. get me wrong. Six five, two hundred and something pounds. Yeah. Okay, great quarterback. But Burrow, Joe Burrow, yeah, went in there. Okay. And beat them. Now, people were saying it was because of the weather. Well, guess what? They were playing in Buffalo. Guess what? It was snowing. The same weather that Buffalo was playing in, it was the same weather that Bengals played in. Okay? So, I'm sorry. You guys got slapped around in your own home. And, and, and honestly, they stunk up the fucking stadium because Buffalo looked like a promising team. I was thinking from the AFC, they were going to the, to the, to the big the, dance. Buffalo's were the sleeper this year, though. They yeah, they were. were. So... Uh, but I'll well, tell you, them and Bengals also too. Bengals so. what lost their first four? Yeah, and they were one game away from the Super Bowl. Like, 
Damn. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so, yeah. So, I, I think Kujo, I mean, that, that quarterback played his worst game. I, I'm, my phone's dying, so. Damn, and you knew you were going live. See, you guys? See what I, <laughs> see what I deal with? Okay, so let me give you my next round. Yeah. Where we had Philly at Giants. I mean, sorry, uh, uh, Giants at Philly. Now, this is, the, this is what I got mixed up. Giants played Philly three times this year. Twice because they're in the same division. Uh, yeah. They got slapped around twice. Yeah. The third time, you think the third time's a charm. No, they got slapped around again. Actually, even worse. The only thing I can say about the Eagles is they got that quarterback, Jalen Hurts. That's it. Yeah. Like, I, honestly, great. he's a great quarterback. Don't get me wrong. Great quarterback. Yeah. Good. You know, he can scramble. He can make plays. He can make it happen on his own. Good. That's dope. But I just... I don't know. I don't see it today. I don't see it today. I just think Patrick Mahomes is hungry. Okay, we're not going to give up predictions right now. We're talking about the Eagles. Come on, stay on track. Okay, you had a you had you had a late night last night. Okay, so they got slapped around three times. Yeah, you know that's kind of like going out with a girl, and on the third night you still don't get that good night kiss. You know, like. She got it the first night. You should grab some ass, grab her hand, <laughs> bite her neck, something. But nothing. They got slapped around again. Yeah. And then you had the Cowboys and the 40 Winers. And guess what? In my book, we still won. And I'm going to tell you why we won. Okay? Even though on paper we lost. But I'm going to tell you why I won. Why? Because Dak threw two picks. He threw two picks. And those two picks... Equal to three points, three points. That's six points. Yeah. Our fucking kicker, that piece of shit, got, a, got that kick blocked. Okay? But they were saying that even the way he kicked it, it was about to go left anyways. Dude should have been fired the last game. Yes. I was saying that too. How many did he miss? Five he or something? Five kicks. Boom, okay? okay. Five kicks. And motherfuckers are always talking about, no, no, keep him on the team. Encourage him. Get the fuck out no, of here. No, yeah. Hell Encourage no. him to pack up his shit and leave. That's what you should have encouraged them to do. <laughs> Okay, so so now he misses that extra point. Yeah. So we have three points, extra point. How much is that? Seven. Seven points. Okay, yeah. seven points. Three, three, and one. By how many points did we lose? I don't know. Shit. What did we lose by? One touchdown. You should have been prepared for ghetto sports. Okay? Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> we lost by seven points. Okay? So in my book, we won. Fuck it. But we just ain't going to the boat. Pretty much just gave it up. But yeah. We gave it up. And then the people want to attack Dak. Don't attack Dak. Okay, look at it. Dak's not playing defense. Dak, Dak can't do everything. Can't block for himself. Can't run the ball every time. Come on. Like, you know what? And I get it. A lot of people are saying, oh, fire him, fire him. Yeah, look at it. He's seven seasons in, okay? Right. Seven seasons. He just won his first playoff game. Okay. I think it might be time to start looking for another quarterback. That's what I was going to say. What do you think is the future for the boys? Should we stick with Dak, attack Dak, or once you go Dak, you never go back? It's, it's tough. It's tough to say because it's hard to even say who, who are we going to pick up I know, right who, now. Who? who? Now, now, say we pick up Evan Rodgers. You think we're going to the big dance next year? I'm not going to lie. That might happen. If that happens, if Aaron Rodgers We got defense. Up, yeah. Our defensive happens, coordinator is coming back. It's only because Aaron Rodgers has that, that skills already, and he knows what it takes to get there and yes. everything. So, honestly, though, shit, anybody with Aaron Rodgers, I think, can win it. Because he got no damn help at Green Bay. Nothing whatsoever. Yeah. Uh, his line's old already. He has no receivers. Devontae Adams went to the Raiders. So, like, he really has nobody. I, I know, but do you think he did? Okay, let me ask you this. He's going to get paid if he stays with, with uh, uh, Green Bay. He has one more year on the contract that he's trying to opt out right now because it's like $59 million, I think, that they, right. they owe him for the last year. Yeah, $59 million. Wow. Yeah. yeah, but people want to say we're in a recession. <laughs> yeah, exactly. okay, okay, but l let me say this. Yes or no, does he benefit more staying with Green Bay or going to the Raiders? He benefits more with staying Green Bay because they can just get him some help. Yes, that just get him some help, give him a receiver. You gave away his help. It, they they have a, they have a cool running back. They do need they need at least a tight end and a receiver. That's what they need, honestly, because yeah. the defense is solid. The defense will get him through, but he needs help. He he can't do it on his own. <laughs> I'm sorry, the dude's not Tom Brady. Tom Brady makes no name receivers look good. All that, of them that's look been good. proven. All look of at them, Wes yeah. Welker. He was a nobody. Yeah, and then homeboy, that little short dude that's at Buffalo now. What's his name? Uh, that little Gavachio. Uh, 
Don't know who's like a poito. I'm on du- uh, Amandela or Amandela. No, 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 that white dude. Remember, I well, told you he, he rapped. Walker, but it was another. Oh, damn. He should have been ready for ghetto sports. <laughs> anyway. See what I have to put up with? No, nah, you just threw that one. I was uh, way out of the left field. <laughs> okay, but anyways, he, uh, uh, he was playing with him, mm. and then he ended up going over there to, to Buffalo. But, um, oh, no, no, he was with us. Not with Tom Brady. We had that, that slot receiver, that white kid. Then he ended up going to Buffalo. We got rid of his ass. Yeah, the, uh, damn. We should have, I should have been ready for ghetto sports. Yeah. Okay, anyways, let's go to the conference championship uh, on the AFC. This is the game before the Super Bowl. Who do we have? If I, I'll just give it to you. Casey Bang, uh, Bengals. Do you remember that game? Yes and no. Um, I just kind of felt, I just kind of felt the Bengals gave it up on defense, honestly. Yeah. Like, they, they had no problem driving against KC, so I honestly, I expected it to be like a shootout. I expected it to be a high-scoring game. Um, yeah, I, I'm going to... I just can't say, I just can't say, like... Honestly, I, I wanted to see Joe Burrow. I wanted to see him win it, so... Okay. I, I was a little sad, a little disappointed that uh, Mahomes and then took it, but hey, you know what? They're more hungry. They want Okay, it. here's a score on KC and Bengals in the conference championship, the AFC conference championship, 23-20. to 20. Bengals actually were coming. They were getting slapped around the majority of the time. Okay, because they didn't, they didn't, they didn't score in the first quarter. Cincinnati, second quarter, they scored six points. Third and fourth quarter, they scored seven and seven. Okay, they need help though. Uh, to me, they need help in the secondary. They need a cornerback. They need a safety. They need somebody because to me, they were weak on defense. So. But I do want to say that Patrick Mahomes was playing with high sprain ankle. Oh yeah, yeah, that dude went in there and played the whole game. Yeah. Okay, so and then now we have the uh, 69ers versus uh, the Philadelphia Eagles. Okay, and by the way, we spell Eagles with E G O. Okay, uh, so they slapped around 49ers 31 to 7. Yeah, that was that was punishing. You, you know what song came to mind when I saw the 49ers lose like that? Remember, back to life, back, <laughs> back to, to reality. reality. All you guys overhyped the 49ers <laughs> talking all that massa. The 49ers, yay, the 49ers. And the whole NFL laughed at you guys on that day. <laughs> bang, bang, Niner gang? Yeah, exactly. They got banged. You know, so, yeah. So Been backwards, but yeah. Yeah, so 31 to 7. Okay, now, before we take calls and before we let people call in and give the prediction, we're not going to be on here all damn night. Um, today, we have KC playing Philadelphia Eagles in the grand finale uh, uh, um, the, the the big dance. The big dance, the Super Bowl, the yeah, last I'll, dance. The everything. last, whatever you want to call it, okay? Philly's favorite by one and a half point. Yeah, okay. that's uh, the Vegas odds. Th- I've seen that. That's yeah. a toss-up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a to- That's not even three points, bro. Yeah. Okay, that's a toss-up. So I'm going to ask you your prediction, and then I'll give you mine, but I need to know why you're going with it. And don't, don't give your prediction going, coming from your heart. Nah, give nah. it realistically as if you're betting $1,000 today on a team to win. Who do you got? What's your prediction, Casey or the Philadelphia Eagles? Shit, and I'm betting $1,000? I'd, be, I'd be nervous. I'd be nervous because ah, I don't know. I don't know. If I had a bet, I would only have to bet on Eagles just because everything I've been seeing. So I would have to bet on them. Okay. I don't get me wrong. Like I said, I like I like Mahomes. Everything he's dope. I can see him. It, I can see it coming down to the last possession. Person who has the ball the last. Right. I can definitely see that. But I I just think Eagles might be the better team overall right now. Okay. And in, in general, just in everything, um, offense, defense, they're just solid right now. Everything. Now he Cowboys played Eagles. Dak didn't play. Yeah. Uh, Jalen Hurts played. Go ahead. We yeah. lost. Yes. Okay, close game. Yeah. Okay. So we played them again. Dak played this time. Jalen Hurts didn't play. Uh-huh. We won. So it was split. Yeah. Okay. We never got to see them in the playoffs. Yeah. I would have thought we would have won in the playoffs. I would have thought we would have seen them again in the playoffs. Honestly, that's what I was thinking. I was more shocked that we saw uh, Tampa Bay. So. Yeah. I, I, honestly, I was scared because I was like, ah, damn, we're going to probably lose to Tom Brady. And then as soon as we won, oh, you guys beat old Tom Brady. old Tom. Yeah, but you know what? Yeah. If we would have lost, oh, see, but it's Tom Brady. It's Tom Brady. I know. Like, 
Come on. Damn stop if you do, damn if you don't. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> close game? No, it's close game. It's coming down to the end. Last possession. Okay. It's going to be it's gonna be no more than seven points. A touchdown. Okay. Honestly. Now, here's my other question. Tie game. Okay. Okay. Tie game. Two minutes left. Um, say any team. Uh, um, who do you think will drive down the field and score, Philly or or uh, Patrick Mahomes? Tie game, and they have the ball last. Who would you say is most likely to finish it off? KC. If they got the ball last, they'll, they'll, they'll finish it. Okay, but but see, I now once again. I can see Eagles driving down the field, too. See, I can't. I can see him doing it. Just Patrick, only because Jalen Hurts. Only because Jalen Hurts. I see him running the ball. Send everybody deep, run the damn ball. <laughs> well, 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 if they're playing zone, he ain't going to run. But if yeah. they're playing man-to-man, -man, yeah, he's yeah. going to run the fucking ball. Yeah. But now, here's my thing. I seen Patrick Mahomes. You seen Patrick Mahomes drive down the field and win the, the last hurrah. Countless, yeah. Okay? I haven't seen that from Hurts. Because they've been winning the whole well, fucking game. up most of the time. Most so, of the time, yeah. see, that changes everything for me. I still uh -huh. believe if I had a bet $1,000, because of their consistency, not playing up and down, but playing, you know, equally throughout the season, I have to go with Philadelphia Eagles. Now, reason why I'm reluctant is because I believe... Uh, that Mahomes is better than Jalen Hurst, and I can't oh, trust yeah. Jalen Hurst in this big dance. You, you think know? he's still, like, uh, got the jitters? Yeah, I, I believe it, we still have to. This is only second season. Yeah, yeah. We still have to see him somewhat fold if he is. And if he is, we'll probably see it tonight. Okay, so if he folds tonight, then he'll be like um, uh, Lamar Jackson. Because, you know, everybody yeah. said, oh, he's the next big thing. He's the next big thing. He got figured out. Exactly. You know what? Everybody yeah. has that short little time where they get figured. Look at look at Cam Newton. They were like, oh, he's the biggest thing right now. He's oh, he's great. He's great. Cam Newton got figured out in two years. Never went back to the Super Bowl. Hadn't been back to the playoffs at that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll tell you another guy got figured out, Kaepernick. That was yeah. whack as hell. Okay. So, anyways, you got Eagles. I got Eagles. I think if it came down to whoever had the ball last, I, I would go bet on Mahomes will take it over Jalen Hurts because he's proven it. Okay, so now that's what we're going to do. What do you think about the halftime show with Rihanna? Are you looking forward to it? Are you excited? Are you ecstatic? Nah, it's bullshit. Uh, Jay-Z, sorry ass, needs to come up with something better. Like, I get it. It's, that's his homegirl, his friend, whatever. Yeah. He's only putting on certain people because he has the contract right now for NFL, like for halftime shows. So I don't know if it's the Illuminati, the Chuanati, or whatever yeah. it is, but, you know. Shit. I don't know. I'm, I'm oh, not shit. looking forward to it because it ain't going to top last year's. No. Last year's was incredible. Dope. Last year's was, was incredible. Uh, uh, um, Dr. Dre, Mary J, Eminem, 50 coming upside down. How the hell are you going to top that? I know. People made fun of 50 and say he looked fat. The guy was still muscular. No, okay? he's, he's, he's just big. Yeah, he ain't fat. Yeah. But the guy's probably now almost 50 years old. Yeah, he's. Yeah, okay, yeah. so please yeah. give it up to the guy. Yeah. Okay. Hey, he's still doing it. He's so. still doing it. Okay. So uh, now <clears throat> we both got Eagles. We both don't like the Eagles, but we think. You well, know. Well, what do you think about Rihanna? I don't like her. Okay. If you had to pick somebody, who would you have picked for halftime? Because I definitely would have went somebody else. I wouldn't. Shit, I would have did a special encore again with fucking Shakira and J Lo. A every dude was jerking off to that halftime show. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So, uh, everybody, you know, but... Well, hips don't lie, you know? Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, so, me... Fuck, that's a really good one. I probably would have went with a fucking rock band. Maybe now bring, who? Who? Bring, bring back ACDC, Back in Black. The one that, that you know for the Iron Man song. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Or I would have brought out, like, Ozzy. Crazy I, Train. I, crazy I, Train. That yes. would have been dope. That would have okay. been dope. Something I like, like Ozzy. Just don't, just don't bring back that one dude. What what the fuck's his name? I think they gave him like two Super Bowls. Uh, um, um, that one guy that sings 20, 24K. What the, the hell's his name? Oh, Bruno Mars. That Bruno. guy. You know what? He like, had a couple cool songs. I, I like a couple, but, but he's I don't, not halftime. He's not. He's not. Hey, let's go. Let's pump it. He's not. He's, he's not, not that guy. Not. Stop. That's why the same thing about Rihanna. I'm like, what the fuck? Why are you picking but, her but, ass? But, 
They should get the guy. <laughs> the whistle dude? Yeah. yeah. I asked the guy who, who was going to win the Super Bowl, and you know what he told me? Exactly. <laughs> so He must have had an insider. What, what did he ask that? It's going to be demonic. So. Oh, it's going to be something demonic. It, it, you know what's funny? Everybody with their conspiracies are going to dissect the halftime show that something demonic was in it. And it probably Rihanna's is. throwing the triangle up. She's yeah. bent over backwards. Yeah, she's she bent done. over. She told the Chicloso on accident. Her, she's showing her five head. I don't know. Like, it's a, something. I, I think she kind of looks like an alien. She got but, a big ass forehead. But so, <laughs> Anyways, people are saying, stop hating on her. You're hating on Rihanna, guys. Stop. I just don't like her music. Yeah, okay. just just tired of this shit. Like, you know, come on. You got famous off that sorry song, Ella, Ella, eh, eh. Like, come on. Seri That's really a fucking song. <laughs> Like, that's some bullshit. Some so. people have a heart. And you guys make fun of Alex reading, and look at the way she's singing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Leave so. my guy alone on the mic over there. Exactly. So, yeah. So, okay, so I want people to call in. I want you to give me your Super Bowl pick. What are you guys going to be eating or drinking? Yeah. And then what do you guys think about that halftime show? We're going to give you guys yeah, call it. Tell us who you would like to see at halftime. Because Jay-Z needs some better ideas, because that ain't shit. Okay, go ahead and put the phone number up. And we're going to go ahead and take some uh, ghetto sport calls. So once again, I want all you sports freaks to call in. Give us your prediction. Give us what you're eating, what you're drinking, what you're going to be doing. And then uh, who would you have had for the halftime show? But I like, okay, we got a first call. Go ahead and put the headphones on. Okay, let me see. Okay, bam. So let's see. Alrighty then. Let's see. We had a call, so I don't know what happened. Here he is, right here. Hello, you sports freak. What do you have today? What's up, Tony? It's the homie Kika from the city of Escondido. Kika never fails. What's uh, up, my bro? I got the. What's up, big bro? I got the birds on this one, Pedro. You got the birds. The birds. Okay. okay. For uh, answers, my first question. Second question: What are you having? Anything special today for Super Bowl? ¿Qué vas a comer? Ah. Uh, Carne asada, burgers, and fucking wings, homie, along with all the sides and shit. There it is. There, there it, it is. is. There it is. Halftime show. Are you looking forward? Are you ecstatic? Are you excited to see Rihanna? I'm going to go smoke a bowl, fool. I'm not even going to watch <laughs> Light that shit up. <laughs> let, uh, let me ask you this, Cardinal. Who would you rather have seen at halftime? Ah, fuck, man. If, I mean, at least fucking keep it classic and bring back, like, fucking one of the rock bands or some shit. You know what I mean? There but other than that, like, give a shit. Exactly. All right, Kike. Muchas gracias. Enjoy the carne asada, las hamburguesas, and that bowl. Hey, hey, Victor. Hey. Yes. Una, muchas gracias, güey. Una pregunta nada más, real quick. Yes. It's simple yes or no. All right. It's going to be a Cinderella story, you know, fucking Andy Reid comes back and he's playing the team he couldn't win it against back in 04, 05. Okay. If Andy Reid and the Chiefs win, is he a top three coach all time? Yes or no? No. Ooh. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Top five. Okay. I was okay. top five, not he, top three. Belichick's number one right now. Oh, Belichick for sure. Yeah, Belichick. He's so. proved he could win already without Tom Brady. So. Yeah. Yeah. What's that? Okay. All right. Come on. Let's go, sports, sports fanatics. All you guys out there talking shit about sports. Let's go. Here we go. Hello, I'm sports Belichick. fanatic. Yeah, Belichick. Who do you got today? Yeah. Hey, what up, so the egg? What's up, my bro? Uh, oh, I got the I got the pájaros también, bro. Okay, los pájaros. Okay. Uh, a, a close game or blowout? Yeah. Uh, you know what? Let's go with a blowout. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Probably a close game. No, I don't know, man. I'm not seeing close. Okay. Okay. Right, now, what are you going to be having yeah, during the Super Bowl? Uh, I'll have to. What's that? What are you going to be eating during the Super Bowl? You got anything special cooking up on the grill? Uh, a fat burrito? You're breaking up. Yeah. Okay. Halftime show. Are you excited? Are you ecstatic about Rihanna? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Who would you like to have seen? Or... Like anybody, a rock band, anybody, a rapper. Who, who would you have wanted? Well, can I answer that with another question? Is is uh is the guy from Bronco still gonna be there? La uh, Guadalupe. Who? Yes, I'm talking about. Bronco, the band. 
No, I don't think they're going to be or there. La, <laughs> yeah. La, la. <laughs> they're performing backstage. <laughs> so. All good. Uh, yeah, bro. Hello? They did us wrong once again. All right, guys. Yeah. <laughs> All right, bro. That's All right, us. Thank you, Colin. All right. All right, come on, you sports freaks. Let's go. Hello, you sports freak. Who do you have, Casey or the Eagles? Hello, this is Ahmed from India, buddy. Hey, how you doing, buddy? What do you have today? So, I am a big sports fan. Um, let's say um, I think Kansas City because, um, you know, Patrick Mahomes just lost, you know, two years ago, and I think he wants, you know, revenge, you know, his redemption. But Drake just bet on the Chiefs a million dollars, and he is a jinx. So yeah. I have to go with the Eagles. Okay. Well, okay. the Drake curse, huh? Yeah, the Drake curse. Now, what are you going to be having? What do uh, people from India and and Packies eat for halftime show? Or, or d- during the whole... F- uh, well, uh, right now in my uh, cabinet, I only have a uh, top ramen and a 40 ounce. So that's what I would have. Okay. Now, are you excited and ecstatic about Rihanna's halftime show? No, I, I mean, it's better than having Mr. Capone there, uh, you know, performing. <laughs> but um, I think if I can choose a performer, it'd probably be, um, mm, I would say 6'9", probably 6'9". Fuck. Okay, great choice. <laughs> great choice. Okay, any last words? Uh... And um, Yes, uh, I had a question, quick question. Um, if you guys had to wear something, what would it be? The, uh, a Niners jersey or the Miss Pac-Man boots that just came out? Oh, <laughs> I, I was not Niners jersey. <laughs> Probably go with the Niners jersey. Niners jersey, oh. yeah. <laughs> Miss Pac-Man oh, wow. boots. <laughs> okay, well, you know, I hope you guys en- en- enjoy the game. You know, don't. Well, Tony, you can't drink, so I'm, I'm sorry about that. But uh, I'll drink for you. Yes. And, um, you know, I know you are watching right now, Miss Pacman, you know, with your hairy toes. And uh, have a good night. Um, gobble, gobble, bitch. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, damn, that was dope. Yeah. <laughs> Six, nine, performing at halftime. Six, nine, perform. Yeah. What, what song would he be performing? I don't know none of his songs. Uh, I don't, I don't, okay, we got another call. Hello, you sports freak. Who do you have? KC or the Eagles? I got the KC, man. KC. KC all the way. Get blowout or close game? Yeah, yeah. But you know what? But you, but you know what? It's going to be hard for him to win it because uh, uh, it's hard to say that the Eagles have the, the offense and they have the defense though, too, though, you know? Yeah. Uh, KC, but KC should go all the way. Okay, so what are you going to be snacking on during the Super Bowl? Do you got hot wings? Do you got carne asada oh. lamping on the grill? What do you have? We got some uh, hot wings on the grill, carne asada, some chorizo, and uh, tortillas de frijoles y arroz. Hell and yeah. Y una salsa caliente. guacamole. Hell you know? yeah. Now, are you, you know excited I mean? and ecstatic about Rihanna's halftime performance? Nah, hell no, nah, man. They should have got somebody, somebody better. Who do you have in mind? Uh, well, right here, the family. We all, we're all gonna tell you who we want it. Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny. That would have been pretty good. Yeah. Bad Bunny's probably the biggest artist right now. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That would have been a great one right there. Oh, Carol G. Bad Bunny. Carol G. Out there. Yeah, good choice, good choice. <laughs> okay. Thank you, thank you. So far, yeah, it, but hey, hey, Tony, hey, Tony, hey, you're doing really good on your show, man. Keep it up and shit, you know? I've been trying to get through. Thank you, you know? Carnal. Give you all my blessings. Yes, sir. Thank you, Carnal. Appreciate you, homie. Appreciate the support, man. Thank Hard you for calling. Right, let's keep uh, it going. Yes, have a good one, man. You too. You too. All right, you guys, let's keep it going. Come on, I want all you sports people, I want all you Raider fans to call in right now. Raider fools in the building. Okay. <laughs> Hello, you sports freak. Who do you have, KC or the Philadelphia Eagles? Hey, what up, you guys? What's happening? You What's hear happening? me? Yes, sir. No, nah, no, nah, yeah, okay. Hey, wait, wait. Oh, real quick, though, just about the game. Bro, didn't, didn't fucking Andy, I'm sorry to cuss, didn't Andy Reid coach the Eagles for a, lot, a long time? Yes, sir, he did. Yeah, he won a Super Bowl so, over there. bro. 
All right, all right. All right, who do you guys think going to win? I don't care. I guess I want to see a good game. I want to see a good game, but I'm saying – I'm saying the Eagles. I, I think the Eagles are going to do it. I, I think the Eagles, too. You know, I like I like the Eagles coach. I, I'm going to tell you right. Seems like a fucking tough Philly dude, okay? That's what yeah, he looks like. Yeah. You know, usually a team will take upon the character of the coach. Like, he's like the uh-huh. Russell Crowe uh, fucking gladiator, okay? Would you, so would you rather have— What's his name? Uh, I'm trying to remember his name. Uh, I don't remember, but he, okay. he, I, can't even see I think it's a second thing. year with the Eagles, okay? Yeah. But he's like the Russell Crowe, yes, Crow, the gladiator. And Andy Reid is more like John Candy and Uncle Buck. So who would you rather <laughs> I know, have leading you? I know, you? I know. <laughs> so. Hey, but look, though. I mean, bro, I guess I guess it's whoever has a better fucking hour. But, but man, Andy Reid knows the Eagles, bro. Any Anything the Eagles, uh, anything they run, Andy Reid, I don't know, bro. But I don't know, you know. I don't know. Okay. Well, let me ask you this: What are you going to be snacking on? Any, t- any? Hey, I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna eat out. I'm gonna eat out the fridge. All right. All right. Whatever's in the fridge. Okay. Now let me All ask. Of it. Are hey, you? Uh, and, then, and then and then the halftime show, bro. I don't care. I don't care, bro. It seems like you just don't care today at all. Hey, well, give us your hey, opinion. But, Do you like Rihanna? I love Rodeo Radio. Oh, then there it goes. We're winning. Then. That? That's all that matters. Go ahead. Man, <laughs> come on. Hey, you guys go. <laughs> <laughs> Who would you like to have seen, though, for the halftime? Um, bro. Hey, look, though. Are they going to talk about it as much as last year's show? Last year's show was exactly. because, you know, you get, it's going to be hard to top that. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Right, right, exactly, exactly, exactly. You got straight yeah. legends of there, and then this year you just got fucking Rihanna. So it's like she's probably gonna have to jump off the stage like Lady Gaga or something. To so yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, or, or a wardrobe mal- malfunction. Hey, or something. What a, hey, hey, Janet Jackson and Justin. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, they're saying that this year they're taking. There's actually bets right now, and you can bet in Vegas if uh, Rihanna is gonna pop out a titty or her ass is gonna show. They're like, uh, it's like, on. I'm serious. They're taking bets on that right now. Would you rather see the titty or the ass? I'd rather see the ass cheek. Now you see the ass any hey. day. Sit, sit, pull the titty out. All right. Read hey, the tatas. You, oh. you guys are hilarious. <laughs> hey, just ghetto sports, homie. Hey. Hey, bro. Thank you guys. Thank Appreciate you, my bro. It, bro. Go ahead, go ahead. Hey, did you guys see what happened with Lady Gaga? Like, she had some girl... Uh, yeah, didn't she piss on her or throw up? Oh, yeah, some okay. girls throwing up on her ass, yeah. That would have been a nice halftime show. Hello, sports fanatic. Who do you have? <laughs> KC or the Philadelphia Eagles? It's right now. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Turn on your TV, por favor. Yes. There you go. Yes, I am calling... Yes, I'm a, I'm a diehard... Almighty Raiders fan. Yes. Raider Nation in the building. Yes. In the building. Thank however, you for calling in. However, yeah, that's right. But however, uh, I would have to go with the Chiefs. Uh, their biggest threat is their offensive combination of Mahomes and, and Kelsey. If Philadelphia has a way to contain Jason Kelsey, yes, then yeah, I can shut down their offense, but if if not, then you know Philly's gonna have a long day on defense. Yeah, that's Mahomes' but, bread and uh, butter right there. I would, yeah, and uh, just imagine Mahomes, and you're hearing this from a Raiders fan, but that's why he is. That's why he's the MVP candidate. So I'm gonna have to go with the Chiefs, but rooting for the for Philly. Is it gonna be a close game? Yes, it's definitely gonna be a close game. You got the number one offense against the number. One defense gonna be a close game, not a blowout. Seven points, three points. What, what, what was your what's your prediction? Uh, seven, more like seven points. Okay. Yeah. Goes, now, okay. any type of a special Super Bowl food you're gonna be snacking on during the game? Well, uh, yeah. Whatever. Oh, my daughter got she had to get uh, wing stop since yesterday because today they're not gonna not gonna be available. Oh, but shit. yeah, but yeah, whatever you know. Whatever, whether it's a bag of peanuts with water bottle, whatever. Yeah, I just want to enjoy the game. That's game of football of the year, and well, hell yeah. What, what September, about? Yeah, are, are you like so excited for the halftime show? Are you ecstatic to see Rihanna? <laughs> uh, the halftime show is always interesting to see what class, what um, big artist comes out. And Rihanna, I might not be the big biggest Rihanna fan, but I think her music speaks for herself, or else she wouldn't be in the Super Bowl. 
let that sink in. So yeah, yeah that's a that's a good um, artist, but uh, yeah, there could have been. It's just so many great artists, you know. Whatever, as long as it has the music has the good vibe. Uh, I know everybody's expecting whatever whatever sign they're gonna give this. Uh, what you mentioned earlier, you know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, demonic, whatever, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, whatever, whatever is good vibe. Uh, that makes people feel good. That's all that matters at the end of the day. Yes, yes. Before you hang up, you got to do something for me. Yeah. yeah. Give me a Raiders. Raiders. <laughs> there Raider we go. Nation from <laughs> Oakland to Los Angeles to Las Vegas to Planet Mars. Raider Nation, baby, for life. They bless on me. Enjoy the game. Yeah, Carnal. Cool. Carnal saw the lamp in on the grill. And now we eat. Big shout out to ODM. Uh, uh, once again, go ahead and call in, you guys. Give us your Super Bowl prediction. What you guys are going to be eating. And are you guys going to be twerking during the halftime show? Hello, sports freak. Who do you have, Philadelphia or KC? Good afternoon. This is another shameless plug. Miguelito tattoos on Instagram. Hell yeah. Okay. Go ahead, give it to us. All right, so look, I'm a, all right, look, I'm going to be honest with you guys, man. I, I really wanted the Chiefs to win, but you guys got to remember that, that, what's it called, the quarterback, Mahomes, his ankle has been fucked up. Yeah. That guy can't even practice right. He can't even go to the restroom. He's he's been in pain so much, and if he continues with it, it can it can get even worse, and it can escalate to other stuff like the ligament stretching. But look, not even that. But you can't even count on his running back. Yeah. The running back sprained his, his sprained he sprained his uh his wrist. Yeah, so I gotta you can't give even count on him though. either because. I got to give it to him only because so he, any other quarterback would have rolled over and all. Oh, I can't play, and they're out. This guy fucking came back in the last game and won the damn game. So I got to give it to him that he's hungry. Okay. And he, he, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. He, he, what he's doing, playing on the ankle, ain't going to get any better. That's for sure. So He's not compared. He's nothing compared to Mahomes. There's no stopping Jalen Hurts right now. The Eagles quarterback, he's the MVP candidate, has been named the NFC's Offensive Player of the Week for the second consecutive week. Hurts is the first Eagles ever to win a Player of the Week award in back-to-back in weeks. Jaina Hurts even has 3,700 passing yards, 22 touchdowns, six intersections, 760 running yards, and 13 rushing touchdowns this whole season. Mahomes can't even come close to that right now, man. Okay. So, okay, so that's an argument right there. There you go. Okay. So, so you know what? I'm, I'm glad. So you got the Eagles, obviously. In a close game? I want to go cheese. I want to go cheese, bro, but like I can't be ignorant, bro. They're they're all messed up. They're all hurt. Everybody in the Chiefs all has so many injuries, bro. Right, right. And then and then the quarterback, the the, the receiver for the Eagles, the the uh, AJ dude, that guy's been catching balls with one hand. Yeah, this guy's unstoppable right now, and he's he's really young too. He's, you know, like he's he's dude. Right now, Hurts and AJ, they're gonna take over everything by I want to say maybe ten points. It's, it's not gonna be a close game. Oh, That's my okay. opinion. Damn, and right. with that, and with that, and with that being said, I'm out. All right, thank you for the call. Yeah, he didn't even let me ask him the Rihanna question. <laughs> <laughs> That's messed up. The other dude said because she's there because her music. I'm like, she's there because Jay Z. That's it. All right. Hello, sports fanatic. Oh. How, how are you? I'm good. How you guys doing today? You're dressed good. I know that. Hell yeah, That's homie. Right. Hell right. yeah. Who you got today, KC or the Philadelphia Eagles? Oh, brother, I got to go Chiefs. I don't like nothing about the NFC East besides our Dallas Cowboys. That's right. That's right. I got to take it to the heart with my home. Okay, okay. Okay. Now, the, the last caller just said that uh, um, Mahomes and the whole team is pretty much hurt. Yeah. It's going to be a, almost a 10-point game. My question that I wanted to ask him was, would you be shocked if KC won? You know? Yeah, I mean, absolutely not. Because if, if they're able to stop the run, because the, a lot of the Eagles' offense is the run. Hurt yes. and, and the other kid running the ball. But if they're able to just plug that middle and Mahomes, man, one thing about him that I love, it reminded me of old Tony Romo. I know he threw a lot of picks, but that guy had heart. Punch his lungs, back brace, mm-hmm. uh, shoulder. He'd be, in, he'd be in there throwing the ball. 
Broken and Mahomes, ribs. When he said he was yelling at the coach, no. When he was in there, no, I'm going in, man. I'm going in. That's right. Yeah, so that guy, hard. first of all, the laugh caller, man, I thought that guy was his old lady. No disrespect to the, <laughs> to the laugh caller, but, man, he, he knew everything about that team, man. Yeah, he did. But, yeah, no no disrespect to nobody, I, you know, but I'm a diehard Cowboy fan from Danny White and even a little softback that I remember. But with that being said, I got to go team. Okay, okay. Awesome, awesome. So, and, and what are you going to be having for uh, Super Bowl snacks? Are you going to be eating anything, man? Anything good? Yeah, well, I got my I, I got my, my kids coming over, so they, they I got to have, you know, they got, they're Americanized too, home, so they, I got to have everything from carnitas to pizza to, to hot wings. I mean, you name it, bro. We got to do it for them. You know what I mean? That's right. Okay, that's right. okay. And uh, are you excited or ecstatic for the Rihanna halftime show? Well, listen. I'm not hating on the way she looks, but I would rather see anything like from Metallica to our boy Cujo the Savage, man. Yeah, that's right. There you go. Yes. Yeah, any, anything but that. I mean, I'm not going to be mad looking at her, but I'm going to be real with you, man. I mean, really, for, for the for the Super Bowl halftime, you got Rihanna? Yeah. You should have just went with Marana. We're, see, we're not the only ones that feel that way. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So. Yeah, you, you know what yeah, would have been good? Know, but hey, man, I, I love, I love the clothes, man, and uh, man, I'm digging it. Next year, man. I mean, we've been saying this is what '96, whenever '97. I don't remember the last time we fought beat the Steelers, but next year, homie, or this year. That's right, this year. There you go, this year. <laughs> All right, homie. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you guys got to head out to Oxnard, man. And I'll see you guys out there. Hell yeah! As a matter of fact, that's where I got this. In Oxnard, when okay. I went, we went to all the right, training bro. camp. Uh, all right, bro. All right, man. Well, stay up, man. Everybody have a blessed day. And, and, and to all the Rasa, to all the hints of period, man, let's get our money 2023. And, you know, and please, if you guys can't stand up for America's team one time, guys. America That's only has one team on all sports. One team, homie. You hear that That's one right. team. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> hey, stay. One team, Brian. Look at So, thank you, caller. I appreciate you. One so. team, Brian. Look at <laughs> Caller, let's go. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Who's going to call next? And uh, give us your prediction. What are you guys going to be eating? And uh, are you guys going to be twerking during the halftime show? It looks like, look like Jay-Z needs to start looking into getting a rock band or somebody for next year. Yeah. Yeah. He should. So, uh, uh, let's see. Any Raider fans out there? You guys want to talk about your team? You guys want to talk about anything? Just call in. It has to do with ghetto sports. Let's go ahead. We got a couple of minutes, and then we're out of here. Game starts in about an hour. So call us in. Let us know, and uh, we'll go from there. If not, we're just going to kill the phone calls and just finish it off with the next 10 minutes, and we're good. So, Any predictions, anything, call in, let us know. So. Exactly. What do you guys think about Prince on, on causing it to rain during his uh, session? You got the mic on? Go ahead. What do, you, what do you guys believe happened when Prince made it rain in the Super Bowl? Well, you know, to be honest with you, I still think that was probably the best, uh, uh, my best Super Bowl performance. I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you a couple of them. Prince, that was when um, Chicago played Indianapolis, when Peyton Manning won his first Super Bowl. Okay. Oh, wow. Was, and, yeah, and Prince was, was the good. halftime show. I don't, I, and Buffalo and Dallas here at the Rose Bowl, Michael Jackson was the halftime show. Uh, Michael Jackson was a good halftime show. That was show. a good one. That was a good one. And I say last year's uh, Dr. Dr. Dre. Dre. I mean, honestly, that's going to be one to beat for a while. I think so, That's too. probably one of the best halftimes I've seen in a long and time. And you notice no conspiracy theorist uh, came out and said there was something demonic about that? So Some people yeah. got mad and said that it was disrespectful that Snoop was sea walking in front of the whole world. I oh guess. well, like, you know what? People are too soft about everything today. Shit. I would rather have him do that than somebody throwing a fucking low key demonic as you know, yeah, showing their six, demonic six, chorizo. Six. Yeah, something. exactly. So, anyways, <laughs> we're gonna give you guys another minute to get some calls in. If not, you know what? We're gonna go ahead and end it right there. But uh, um, anyways, Brian. So, uh, as far as the callers, it's been half and half. Eagles, KC, mm -hmm. Eagles, KC. Do you take back your prediction, or you still you still stick with Eagles? I gotta stick with Eagles. I okay, gotta, I gotta go with them. You know, it's just I'm gonna, like I said, you're gonna drop some money. I, I'm gonna have to do it, Eagles. I'm gonna have to. Okay, the only, that's the only reason why I'm saying I just feel like they're coming in hot right now, and 
Yeah. You know, it's kind of hard to push that over. So, okay, here we go right here. Hello, caller. Can you turn on your TV, please? He turned off his phone. He hung up. So he just wanted to kind of hear my sexy ass voice. That's all he wanted to do. All right. He's so. just double checking. He's like, oh, it's him. Yeah, yeah, it's him. It's him. <laughs> I crank called. Okay, let's let's go. I should call him back, huh? Yeah, call him back. <laughs> Star 69 him. Star 69. Hey, is Star 69, is that still a thing? Always a thing. What out the star? <laughs> okay. Anyways, uh, um, we're going to go ahead and end the phone calls right there because a lot of you levels are afraid to talk sports. You're nervous. You're scared and ecstatic for Rihanna. So, anyways, <laughs> let me go ahead and take this off really fast. If anybody calls in, they call. But, wait, well, you know what? Let's do that, and then we'll just end it. Uh, let me go ahead and – hold on. But let me go ahead and – okay, we got to just call again. Hold on. Hello, hello, hello. Are you there? This, this is another shameless plug again. Yes. Okay, so because you didn't get a chance to ask me. All right, so look, who I think about – should come on the Super Bowl. Yes, should be Little Rob. Okay. Now, now you're not That's joking. You're being Boom. serious. Boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because because then the other people from different cultures will be like, "Who's Little Rob?" Okay. Who's that guy? Let me know how that guy from the from the team. Remember when they said George Lopez? Hey, look, George Lopez, that guy from fo- the football team. They're talking about him like, hey, "Who's Who's George Lopez?" You ever heard about George Lopez? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! From Dallas you know, Cowboys, like, uh, Michael Pier- Michael Pearsons was saying that Parsons, yeah. Parsons, Parsons. Yeah, yeah. No, you're right. You're right. Hey, hey. Uh, so now, uh, um, I didn't get a chance to ask you. What are you going to be snacking on, Miguelito's tattoos? Oh man, I already got pico de gallo. I got. I already got uh, ceviche. Hell I yeah. got. Uh, I got pastor. Hell yeah! I got carnita, and I got asada. Man, we got it all. Yeah. Do you have any nalgas for yeah, after Yeah, but party? you know, I'm staying away from soda, though. I'm staying away from soda because, you know, diabetes and shit. Oh, yeah. Get, get and the I ice lost, drinks. I lost, I lost family to diabetes. I lost family to that. So, you know, I'm going to be drinking some Gatorade and shit, you know? There you go. There you go. Get some ice drinks. That'll help you kick soda, too. That works. Ice drinks. Yes, definitely. They're different flavors. Like like, like a slushy, it's a slushy Gatorade, though. All you right, know, like the cold ones, like there you, you know, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as you don't sip well, on Haterade. Hey, the only reason why I know so much about football is because I used to play Pop Warner for the city and shit for the Eagles. So I was actually the Eagles too. Uh, yeah, I was actually right. eighty-one too. Owens, I had Owens number. Uh-huh, I still have right. my Owens jersey, my yeah, Cowboys. The though. To one, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, that guy but can I'm still not play. An Eagles fan. I'm yeah. not an Eagles fan. So who's your team then? Um, yeah, yeah. I, Honestly, bro, I, I I love I love football. I love football in general, man. It's not about teams with me. Bro. Come like, on, I love, give us I one love team. Sport. Like I, I I acknowledge the MVP. You, you gotta know, favor I somebody. I I don't, man. I okay, don't. what about I basketball? Really don't. Since it's everybody, sports. everybody has their own. Everybody has their own like abilities. Like you know, just I mean, growing up, bro. Like I said, I didn't know who Owens was until people were like, "Oh, what? We're gonna get this guy." 81, what the fuck? He hasn't earned it. But when I did my first one-handed catch, every, every everybody was there like, yeah, okay, he, he he deserved it. I always play kickoff return, always. And I always gained at least 70 yards, more than half of the... Because, you know, when we were growing up, look, when we, grew, when we were growing up in the street, we used to play street football. So what happened was when we used to play with the big kids, quote-unquote, they we used to play two-hand touch, and they used to drop us, and we used to... We used to uh, bleed all over the fucking street on our knees on our on our you know so we had to be very careful so every time we did that kickoff return i always been like really slick to move around you know so yeah. that kind of it escalated to where i went to play what pop warner and then eventually you know i went to to high school and shit but after that i said i'm done i'm not gonna do a career off of this shit because i got too many injuries and shit that's how i keep up with all these injuries because i know these people it affects them and shit and it's sad because a lot a lot of this shit I mean, hey, they get paid for all that shit, you know, billions of dollars. But hey, man, you know, you, we gotta we gotta take care of our body, you know, it's our temple, you know. Absolutely, Tony sir. Knows. Absolutely. Yes, all right, Cardinal, thank you for sharing all that. Thank you for calling in, homie. Greatly appreciate you. All right, man. All right. All right. There we go. Okay, uh, we had a we had a couple of missed calls, so now they want to call back. We got about five more minutes, so let's see. 
Hello, sports freak. Who do you have, KC or the Philadelphia Eagles? Man, I'm still fucking going for the. I'm. I don't. I'm from Denver. We ain't even supposed to go for either of them, Tone. I, I know. I I, I know. Cause you, I know, homie, because KC is in, in your guys' division. I know who who's who this yeah. is, and you be unbagging all the time, homie. I unbag all the time. You know me, my big homie. Yeah. So so you you. If I had to twist your arm and you had to bet a thousand dollars, big dog, who do you have today? Hey, shit, I'm hoping Mahomes comes through because him and that Pacheco kid are beasts, dog. Okay, okay. You know, but I shouldn't, you know, but the Eagles got that good offense and that good defense. Okay. But, you know, I'm just ready to get on with basketball. Okay. Let's get this football over and let's just jump because my Nuggets look very good this year. Yeah, that's, that's what I've been looking at, man. Three-time MVP. That's dope. That's dope. Huh? So you got anything special you're going to be on back and doing the Super Bowl? Nah, man. I I took a little took a little break effect just to you know what I mean, Re- rekindle, get my stuff together. But I got some good. Uh, I got a good idea for some sopes and some other things coming out. So keep your eye out. I got it coming, baby. Hell yeah! So are you excited for the Rihanna concert? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Not really. I don't know. Maybe it, it might be really good. Hopefully, she she's a performer. Yeah, you know she shakes that ass very good though. Yeah, yeah who, she starts stripping. Yeah, <laughs> sure. who who would you rather have seen at halftime if you had a wish list? This year, yeah, Jeez. yeah. You know what? I would I would like to see the homies. I, I would like to see B Bobo and uh, Sin Dog up there. Oh, that day, hey, you know, hey, yeah. We all know who Cypress you know, is. That would have been, been a while. Yeah, though. sir. Cypress Hill doing it. Fuck that yeah! Is, you know, I I saw I saw him ask. I they asked B about it on uh on the show the other day, and he said, "Oh, they'll never have us up there." But they had Snoop Dogg and everybody else. You yeah. know what I mean? And be real, it was on what NASCAR. Hey, bro, that they whole fuck, NASCAR thing that whole fucking stadium, too. bro, will go crazy. I'm gonna tell you right now. Yeah. If they had Cypress Hill and Everlast, the whole stadium will be singing "Incident in the Membrane" uh. and jump around. That will yep. be an electric halftime yep. show. Yes. That will be your. Yes. So. All good, yeah. my bro. Listen, you were the last caller. Appreciate you, okay, homie. my brother. You stay warm out there in Denver. Uh, I will, brother. Hopefully All right. see you soon. Likewise. All right, brother. Late. Okay, that was it. No more calls. You guys didn't have the balls. So, yeah. oh, well, I'd like to thank all the callers. Anyways, go ahead, Brian. You Anything? Know what, you know what? There's a, were you saying that um, Cyber Seal B-Roll or nobody would ever be there? Yeah, because uh, I feel like there's a... Uh, there's uh, gatekeepers. There's people who are not yes. allowing certain people to be on those stages, be on those platforms. I, I believe it. Like like we said, once again, I, I don't think Rihanna's there because of music. She's there because of Jay-Z. That's it. Okay. That's cool. I mean, I don't want people I'm to not, think. I'm not hating on her, man. Don't get me wrong. I'm just, I'm just saying. I just feel like other people, somebody else could have been there. Well, you know, the thing is that people are saying, you guys are hating on Rihanna. I, I'm, I'm just hating. asking. She, this is ghetto sports. You're going to get ghetto fucking reactions. Yeah, exactly. So... <laughs> So don't get mad because yeah. the name is called Ghetto. Yeah. So anyways, let's go ahead and take these nice little pretty things off. So anyways, you guys, next time we go live on Ghetto Sports, it's going to be on members only. So you guys are going to have to subscribe to that. Uh, we're going to open up the members only uh, uh, for, we're going to have so many different shows. We're going to have Ghetto Sports. We're going to have Sitting in the Park. We're going to have uh, uh, Sixth Street Bridge. We're going to have so many other different shows that you're going to have to subscribe to. But we're definitely going to go live with that by the end of this month. So stay tuned with that. Tonight, we're not going to have a show because I'm going to be enjoying the Super Bowl. Okay? But uh, so we wanted to give you a preview of what to expect in Ghetto Sports. Next time, we might be talking basketball. We might be talking boxing. We may be talking, you know, baseball, whatever. So you never know what you're going to expect. But expect to get them. Make sure you go subscribe, tap in, members only. Remember, we're the first platform to have many shows. You see everyone else biting us, so. You know, I mean. It is what it is. Yes. But They've never seen any, a podcast like this before in their life. Never. So anyways, I want to thank, uh, uh, once again, well, you know what, let's do the Super Chats. Super Chats, let's go. Anytime now. All right, all right, all right. Uh, I just want to put it out there since uh, you guys are asking for who you'd want for the, the halftime show. 
I would want to watch a versus between Cypress Hill and West Side Connection. Oh, that would be dope. Just to bring the house down. That okay. would be dope. That would be right. Okay, so let's go with the super chats. Enrique Ledesma drop 199. Be scandalous. Fuera, fuera, fuera. <sighs> MHS, MHS 415SF drop 499. Bang, bang, Niners, gang, Empire. 2024 Super Bowl champs, and we're ta- taking the Vaqueras down once again. 100. El Josef dropped $10. Fuchs, the National Fake League. I'll be installing the starter on my 51 Chevy. Tom Likas, John Taffer, 2024. Viva Mexifornia and Rodium Radio, cabrones. Yes. Trips Advantes dropped 4 dollars If it wasn't for JC, hip-hop wouldn't be in the Super Bowl, period. And uh, thank you for uh, being doing your first Super Chat on here. Uh, three trips Cervantes also dropped four ninety nine. Two box of donuts versus MC Wicks. Who wins? Uh, the donuts. <laughs> there you go. Depends where the donuts are from. Oh, though. oh, and I also want to clarify something about the membership because I know somebody out there keeps saying it is weird that Tony wants to uh, make this membership. It doesn't make sense. I want to clarify that Tony has been talking about new shows. He's not talking about Rodian Radio. He's not talking about Verse. Dining with the Wizard, Drinking with the Wizard. He's not talking about any of those shows. He's talking about all new stuff for you guys that become members exclusively for you guys. Yeah. So go and subscribe. And, and look, and the thing is, nobody has to subscribe. Nobody's making you, okay? Uh, I want to read one comment, and I shouldn't, but I'm gonna, one guy goes, I'd rather watch ESPN News. The joke's on you, fat boy. You still watched. Ha, 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 ha. So... I mean, it's but, ghetto sports. What the fuck? Exactly. Never mind. Never mind. Keep anyway, it pushing. Keep yeah. it pushing. Anyways, um, other than that, be scandalous. Eagles. Eagles. Uh, um, any any shout outs you want to get? Before we get the fuck out of here. Nah, we don't need to shout nobody else. Uh, Rhodium Radio. That's it. Go subscribe. Tap in. Got some new shit coming for that ass. That's it. So there, there it is. Um, other than that, once again, uh, all the all the new shows that are going to be on the members only. Uh, it's going to be the Sixth Street Bridge. We're going to have another show called Sit in the Park. We're going to have Ghetto Sports. Uh, um, we're just going to have like at least about six different shows, special interviews, all kind of behind the scenes with the Chicano Rap documentary. I'm not charging people to watch the Chicano Rap documentary because some weenie keeps commenting that, okay? You called in and you're the only one commenting. You, you called in and you wouldn't let me answer. So I had to hang up on your silly ass. So, but it's, it's all going to be there. Uh, rare performances that I never posted up before. Everything's going to be the exclusive shit. So only people that care to subscribe, do it. If you don't want to subscribe, you don't have to subscribe. Everything else that you're going to watch is just going to be free on our regular YouTube page. So uh, other than that, uh, enjoy you guys' the Super Bowl. Enjoy you guys' meal. Enjoy the halftime Rihanna show. Uh, let me give a shout-out to uh, News of Norby's. Uh, let me give a shout-out to Alex Cervantes, Cervantes Enterprise. Let me give a shout-out to the Hip Hop Jedi and to my son, Be Scandalous. And I also want to thank me and all the moderators out there. Much love, much respect. And go Cowboy 2023. May the best team win today. And we're out of here. Let's go.